it's pretty crazy to think back to the years that I competed uh, in the Arnold Classic as an open bodybuilder. The first year I did it was 2011, and I had just come off a win in California two weeks prior, beating Dexter Jackson, beating Dennis Wolf, <laughs> and uh, came into the show with a lot of momentum and maybe maybe some of my, my best appearance ever. It was pretty wild to compete at that level uh, against you know Dennis Wolf, uh, Branch Warren, Victor Martinez, Dexter Jackson, you know some of the best names in bodybuilding history. That year, I think my first year I took fourth. It was Branch in first, who, by the way, had just come back from a quadricep tendon rupture, something wild like seven months earlier, which anybody out there watching who has had that injury to turn that around, recover, and then compete on the second biggest bodybuilding stage in the world seven months later and win it <laughs> is absolutely wild. But it was Branch, Dennis Wolf, then Victor, myself, and then Dexter. And I went on to compete in this show five or six more times, my highest placing being third. I placed third twice. I know that when I watch the show this weekend and I see those guys up there, you know, as somebody who hasn't competed in a number of years and you look at the level of competition, you think to yourself, geez, I competed at that level. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's really, really pretty cool. When I look at the lineup for this weekend, obviously Antoine and James, good friends of mine, as well as uh, fellow IFBB AMA uh, comrades, when I look at the lineup, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm pulling for Antoine and James because they're my buddies. And they both look fantastic. And I'm not just saying that because they're my friends. They look absolutely nutty. Other notable names, obviously the most notable being Hottie, who I guess you have to say is the, the favorite to win as well as Samson, just statistically. John De La Rosa, Horse MD from Brazil, who looks incredible. What a physique. Andrew Jacked, obviously a force. Rubiel Mascara, who just looks crazy. Akeem Williams, who I heard Akeem looks great. Uh, just what a mass monster. I heard he's a little bit down in size, which probably means his conditioning is that much better. So, I mean, when I'm looking at this lineup, it's anybody's guess how this is going to go. But